Hey guys, today we're back with the Atari VCS and we're going to be doing some hardware upgrades today. So we're going to be maxing out the memory and installing an M.2 SSD so we can install Windows. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us out a ton and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Our next video is going to be us installing Windows and running some games off some emulators and Steam as well. So if you're looking forward to that, come back next week and without further ado, we'll get into it right after this. We'll be installing a Western Digital Blue 500 gigabyte M.2 SATA drive and we're also going to be installing a Samsung 32 gig kit 3200 megahertz speed RAM. We have a T10 screwdriver here to help us get the uh, bolts that are going to be at the bottom side of the Atari VCS and we're just going to flip it over and you just pull up these rubber tabs and it'll expose the, uh, the T10 torque screw. I want to unscrew all four of those. Okay, next uh, we're going to get the back face plate off and it takes a little effort but uh, the back is raised a little bit and you just want to kind of get your hands on there and kind of pry that off and uh, just do it carefully so you don't break any of the tabs and eventually it comes off. So a little bit of effort, got that off. Now you want to do uh, the same thing on the front, start working that off and it eventually comes off after some effort. Some people also just unfold it and then the front comes off that way. Carefully open it because there is the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth module that has wires that's connected to the top so you don't want to have those pull out so just carefully open it, flip it down and then we are going to take the module out just so there isn't anything going to happen to the wires as we're working on it. So we're going to unscrew that off the uh, main PCB. And the screw comes off. Put that in the magnetic dish, kind of separating things so you know what screws go with what. And it comes unseated, just very carefully, moving that aside. And we we'll move the top clamshell out of the way. This is the Western Digital M.2 SATA drive we're going to install. And just uh, fits into the slot right in front of the uh, fan blower, just like so. And it's kind of at a slight angle it goes in, not too extreme. And we sourced a screw from one of our motherboard um, box, uh, boxes we had. We had a screw that fit perfectly for this. I think it's like a hard like a hard drive screw. Uh, so you're gonna need to source that as it does not come with the Western Digital Blue 
uh, SATA drive, M.2 SATA drive. Now we're going to want to remove the metal heat shield and it has three screws holding it down. Going to unscrew those with the T10 Torx bit. Now you want to carefully remove the heat shield as not to pull out the fan wire from the motherboard. So you just want to finagle it out so you don't remove that. So that's plugged into the board. You don't want to rip that cable. So now we're going to remove the ribbon cables for the front USB. You're just going to lift up on the black tab and pull them out very carefully. It's not too hard, but you want to make sure you're careful to do this. Just take a little bit of time, guys, and it pulls right out. Now we're just going to remove the remaining screws holding the motherboard down to the bottom of the case and the PCB will come out and we can move on to installing the memory. And another one here right above the fan. Screw that. Now there's one screw underneath this uh, light reflector, so just pull that back gently and unscrew that. Now the PCB will lift right out. And you'll have access, and that's what the bottom case looks like. Now we can flip it over and start the memory install. Now you're going to want to pull back on these two tabs and the first memory will just pop up. It's like spring loaded. It'll come up at an angle. Uh, the back one you pull back on the tabs and just kind of uh, slide it slightly up and out and it comes right out. Now we're going to install the memory. Now this is a 32 gig kit. We thought it was two DIMMs but it's only one so we're just going to install it for the purposes of this video and we have a 16x2 32 megahertz kit on the way because you're going to want to run it in dual channel memory for best performance so we'll just show you installing it into the back slot that's kind of how you're going to want to do it if you have two you want to do that back one first and then the front one and it just pops in and and that's it so there you have it guys